31 days to not being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. We are on day number 12. And day number 12, it's a hard one, girl. It's hard. I'm going to tell you, just go ahead and sit on down because day number 12 is hard. Okay. Day number 12 said, day number 13, I'm sorry. We are on day number 13. 31 days being a girl, not being a girlfriend if you want to be your wife. We are on, we are on day number 13 and day number 13 says, I need a husband. Uh -huh. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath, breathe it in, <gasps> breathe it out, breathe it in, <gasps> breathe it out. Day number 13, I need a husband. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. I do. We all do. Welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married too, and Faith Girls. My name is Janice. I hope that you ladies have been enjoying these last 12 days of uh, not being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife. I hope you ladies are listening. You are renewing your minds. You are uprooting that all of those lies we were taught and those things we have believed that has kept 70% of black women single, single, chronically single, or will never get married. Thank you for your love. Thank you for signing up for my mentoring group. I am meeting ladies from all over the world. I love it. Thank you for the love and the support of my book in Christ. I am also available on Amazon. Please be sure to check those out. If you have not checked them out yet, The Naked Wife, a lot of women are naked wives. And of course, my three types of guys you might meet and my new book on not wasting time being a girlfriend if you want to be a wife girl is coming out soon. That is not the title, but it's that's what it's about. You can't be telling people your title because people steal. Ah, day number 13. I need a husband. I can hear all the naysayers, the Jezebels, the strong, independent black woman who don't need a mind, don't need a man, aka husband, screaming and yelling, ah! a husband is not a need, it's not a need, it's a want, uh-huh, and that's exactly why 70% of black women are chronically single or will never get married, you know why, because we don't need a man, we don't need a husband, uh-huh, and how do you think something that you don't need how you think you're going to attract it for 20 years ladies i'm gonna start when you're 20 years old for 20 years you've been saying, i don't need a man i don't need him now you're 40 and oh i'm so tired i need a husband where is he at well you spent the last 20 some years saying you don't need one he's gone bye 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 he's gone dear because death and life is in the power of your tongue and you will have what you say so you spend all these years and i'm a strong independent black woman and i don't need a man and now you're 40 and you want a man well i'm sorry he's gone i'm sorry bye bye because you've been speaking death for 20 some years you've been speaking you don't need a husband for 20 some years you've been saying you don't need a man for 20 some years you've been the strong independent black woman for 20 some years notice we are the only uh women that say that our white cousins don't say the indian girls don't say those italian girls don't say and the, those are the ones that's getting married they are getting married in droves while we're popping babies out in droves our white cousins, Indian cousins, even the African girls, the first generation American, their parents are Africans and Americans born here, getting married. You don't see them popping babies out like we do. Huh? 70% of black women chronically single never get married while 80% of black children are living in a single mother's home. We take away 10% for the divorcee and the widows. And yes, fathers are involved, but it's still not in the home or it's still not God's best for us. And so we walk around talking about, I don't need a man. And that's why we're not getting married because death and life is in your tongue. How do you think you're going to attract what you don't want? You will never attract what you don't respect. This is why, you know, uh, people always talk about, uh, God don't want you to be rich. And that's why you're broke. 78% <laughs> of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. And you talk, running around talking about, uh, God don't want me to be rich. Okay, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. 
Death and life is in your tongue. You will have what you say. Whatever you say, you will get it. Whatever you think, you will get it. So, ladies, these 31 days of not being a girlfriend, if you want to be a, a, a wife, we are renewing our minds. We are rooting out, we are pulling out all those lies that we were taught. Let me do a quick review here, just in case this is the first video uh, you are watching, about us renewing our minds about not being girlfriend, not accepting girlfriend privileges, and being, uh, being wise, raising up our girls, those of us in our 40s. We have kids, raise a son, boys and girls, to be husbands and wives. My husband and I are raising up our little boy to be to be husband and uh, to be a good husband. I'm going to start at day number nine. Okay, day number nine, I will talk like a wife. See there? What are you saying? Are you saying you don't need a husband when deep down you really do? Start saying it. I need a husband. Let me tell you. Joyce Myers says something good's going to happen to me today. I took that and every day I would say, I'm going to meet my husband today. Every day I was expecting to meet him. And then one day, girl, one day it happened. Day number 10, I will dress like a wife. And day number 11, I will associate myself with wives. Day number 12, it is God's will for me to get married. It is God's will for you to get married. It is not God's will for you to be running around, shacking up, popping babies out with every man you, you lay down with. Don't be laying down anyways. Let's stop that, girls. But God wants his best for us. Remember, marriage represents the relationship, the marriage, the common marriage between Christ and the church. When you hear husband, I want you to think Jesus because the husband is a representative or a picture of Christ. When I hear, when you hear the word uh, wife, I want you to think the church. The church is a representation of the, the, the wife. The, the wife is a representation of the church. When you hear uh, uh, marriage, I want you to think of the common marriage between Christ and the church. When you hear sex, ladies, sex, I want you to think praise and worship. You know that's what you're doing, right? This is why we should not be laying down with Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, the 12 disciples, the, the 12 tribes and all them. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Worship. It's worship. And so we need to renew our minds, root it out, root those lies out that you were taught that you don't need a man and start saying, get up every morning and say, I need a husband. I don't know how y'all don't need a husband. Girl, when I was living all by myself, I hated to take care of myself. I hated it. I hate not having a husband, girl. I hate it. Girl, when my husband's not here, I'm just saying, think about how, what am I going to do? How am I going to manage? <laughs> okay. Let me review this day number one. Being a girlfriend is a fake and a counterfeit wife. It's fake. It's a being a counterfeit. Day number two, you're going to read it, read, root out the lies, say, I love myself. Some of y'all been sitting 10, 15 years uh, being girlfriend, shacking up, waiting for him to marry you. He ain't going to marry you. I'm just going to tell you, okay? Day number three, I am not a girlfriend. No, you're not. Stop accepting it. You're Stop saying that. That's my boyfriend. Uh-uh. Day number four, I will no longer accept girlfriend lies. Oh, we're going to shack up, try it out, test it out, have two babies, then we're going to get married. No. Nope. Day number five, I am a wife. That's who you are. Bible says, uh, Proverbs say, he that find a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. The husband obtained favor from God based on how he treats his wife after they're married. Day number six, I will renew my mind to being a wife. You need to renew your mind. This is why we're taking 31 days, girl, 31 days to root out those lies and renew the bad thoughts with good thoughts. Day number six, I will think like a wife. When you renew your mind, you are thinking like a wife. You're not thinking like a girlfriend. No, day number eight, I will live like a wife. I'm not shacking up. I'm not popping babies out. Uh, I, I'm not on Instagram turking, taking butt shots and all them pictures. Uh-uh. I will live like a wife. And of course, day number nine again, I will talk like a wife. Okay? And so when you begin to talk like a wife and renew your tongue like a wife, you will start to, you're going to start erasing those things uh, that that you spoke. No, day number 10, I will dress like a wife. Not only dressing uh, modestly and appropriately, but dressing yourself in humility, the anointing of a wife. A lot of you ladies are not being 
are seen by your Boaz because you don't have the anointing of a wife. You need to pray and ask God to clothe you with the anointing of the wife because you got the spirit of girlfriend on you. Okay, day number 11, I will associate myself with wives. Big mama, your cousin, all of them never been married telling you, you don't need a man. You just go to school, girl. I work as hard as you can and get your degree. You don't need a man. You can do it all by yourself. It's a lie. 70% of black women are not married day number 12 it is god's will for me to be married you need to know that god is god's will for you uh to be married okay i want you every day cancel it say i cancel that bad words or negative words that you have spoken is like i read this one time in one of my devotions go get a pillow open it up go on top of a mountain and let all the feathers out those are your words you can't go back and collect them all and so what you're going to have to do now, start cancel. I cancel the negative things I have said about me not needing a husband. In the name of Jesus, I need a husband. Okay, start renewing your mind. Start saying, I need me my husband. Thank you, Lord, for my husband. I'm going to walk like a wife, think like a wife, look like a wife. And you will begin to erase those negative thoughts and negative words that you have said, girl, because you will never attract what you don't respect, okay? You don't respect the hit. You don't respect the anointing of a husband. You don't need a husband. Guess what? You ain't going to get you no husband. And if you do, it's going to be a rare, rare pookie. You're not going to get you no good husband, okay? My books are available on Amazon, 23 Task Guys You Might Meet, uh, The Naked Wife, and In Christ I Am. Thank you so so much for your love and your support i love you girl let me know how these videos are helping you renewing your mind be sure to sign up for my mentorship group even if you don't take the ment mentoring you get to talk to me for an hour girl don't you want to talk to me for an hour so the link is below sign up to talk to me the free consultation just an hour and talk with me all right i love you got to go bye